Hey there, Sagittarius. It's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's called integrativemysticism.com. Or of course, you may also just simply follow the links below. Also, for those of you who enjoy going deep, the incoming wave video for this week is up, and you can find that on my main channel page by clicking on my avatar beneath this video, or you can also simply open the down bar below and follow the links to their playlist. So, what is going on when it comes to this coming week? Well, this whole week is overlit with the Justice card upright, and so this is what's going on behind the scenes of every situation, every occurrence that you're going to be dealing with. And with the Justice card upright, I'm getting a very strong sense of things being put back in proper order. And we talk about putting things back into proper order. Spiritually speaking, this is about a redistribution and dispensation of all things, resources, attention, energy, opportunities. In fact, the Justice card upright is kind of showing up as this great equalizer. And you may be finding that things that have been a bit chaotic or out of sync, or maybe even things that have been a bit lopsided, off-center, or even to a certain degree, possibly, um, you know, not necessarily going where they need to go because they are maybe being uh, given to or held up by other things are now getting smoothed out. In fact, with the Justice card upright, we are seeing that there is a reportioning of resources, opportunities, and goodies all this week. If things have been kind of bunched up or held up, or things maybe you know put in places where they don't belong, it's not an equivalent exchange, or perhaps things are you know getting deprived versus things that are actually getting a bit spoiled, we have this very big smoothing kind of force moving through the entirety of your weekly experience, which is really, really cool. And you're going to be noticing this happen all over your social life, your material resources, your love life. In fact, as we get into your material concerns, we have the Knight of Swords upright and somebody is fighting for you. Somebody is actually going out of their way to clear a problem for you. With the Knight of Swords, I'm actually seeing assistance, somebody of enormous assistance showing up and securing either a professional or financial opportunity for you where you might need that backup or it might just simply help to have that backup. Because the Knight of Swords is with the Justice card, I'm tempted to actually just, you know, say what I, you know, say in, say, the Tarot Home Study course about the Knight of Swords. You have a champion to your cause, or in this case, the cause being you. In fact, with the Knight of Swords, I'm seeing a lot of you actually benefiting from maybe some more proactive or even, dare I say, aggressive action being taken by somebody who wishes to work and serve on your behalf, somebody who is actually going out of their way to make sure something gets to you that they understand belongs to you. Now, this could be maybe the winning vote in some kind of discussion about maybe a living circumstance, a work circumstance, a financial negotiation, or maybe even somebody helping you to conquer a pervasive obstacle or pervasive challenge, whether it be another person or something tangible or intangible that has been set up by a system you are working with. As we get to the communications area, we talk about friends and relatives. Well, we've got the Nine of Swords upright, and it does look like this week um, there could be some issues going on with a friend or a relative that is kind of losing it. Um, and, and when I say losing it, I don't mean to say that in, in a way that's supposed to maybe, maybe be minimizing the situation, but... I, I'm actually seeing the a monster they made themselves actually getting out of their control. And what's interesting about the Nine of Swords here is I am drawn to the monster, uh, or at least my awareness is brought to the monster in the card. But what I am seeing is that this is something that this friend or this relative has essentially created. 
themselves and now it's wreaking havoc on their own experience on their own life now the nine of swords is gonna present itself differently depending on you know sagittarius to sagittarius some of you may find that this is going to lead in the direction of somebody who is feeling a bit more responsible or repentant maybe even somebody who's interested in taking measures to correct and remedy the situation but in other people you may be finding that this friend or this relative is in a place where yes they are suffering but no they have not learned their lesson or they are not taking ownership or responsibility for their creation and so depending on how this happens it's going to require you to remember that justice card make sure that whatever is going on however it is solved needs to be done in a way that is fair for all involved. What is an equivalent exchange and how do we solve this situation in the highest interest of all concerned? Sometimes sparing somebody a necessary lesson is not in the highest interest of all concerned. However, sometimes, you know, abandoning somebody when they are on the verge of a, a real repentant growth experience is also not in the highest interest of all concerned. It'll be up to you to discern and notice where this person is. As we get to love and romance, we have the Page of Pentacles upright, and it looks like a lot of you uh, Sagittarius people are going to be experiencing a change in a sense of uh, material comfort in your relationship zone, which is interesting. We're kind of bridging the material and the romantic here. And with the Page of Pentacles, I'm actually seeing this coming in where for a lot of you uh, single or available Sagittarian folks, this could be a change in how you want to live brought on by a potential new partner. Now, this does not necessarily mean like social climbing or, you know, celebrity status and things like that. You know how I feel about that now, don't you? No, the, this is more about the idea of somebody coming in and promising a different kind of material future with their, you know, just with their own sensibilities with who they are. With the Page of Pentacles, this is a new beginning, a new opportunity to change the creature comforts around ourselves by learning this other person's ways. I am seeing that there are gifts also coming in for a lot of you through existing partners and even uh, potential new partners for those of you that are looking uh, as sort of, um, I would almost say it like, a, you know, sort of an investment, a proof of love, a proof of, you know, proving one's own interest, kind of commemorating affection through a gift coming your way. The Page of Pentacles is also indicating a shift in the material atmosphere for existing partners as well, uh, and existing partnerships as well. A chance to maybe change or, uh, or, or alter the way we actually carry on our material lives in a way that is better suited to our lifestyles and who we truly are is also going to change how we conduct ourselves and how we actually communicate, connect, and become more intimate as a partner in a very positive way, might I add. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Thank you.